Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, it's been a while. I had some family stuff going on. Um, I was at the uh, Zepeda uh, card in uh, Arlington, uh, but it is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into Zepeda and exactly why he is the boogeyman of this division. He's going to be a problem for everyone. I don't think they're going to fight him. Uh, before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Lots of content uh, from the Zepeda card on that, so please check it out. And all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. William Zepeda. This guy is going to be an issue. Um, I, I talked to Frank Martin. Frank Martin gave his flowers, said it was a good performance. Uh, it's common he can beat him. And I'm not saying Zepeda can beat Frank Martin. What I'm saying is he's going to be a problem for anyone. Frank, Frank Martin, I asked him, and you can check out the interview on Texas Boxing Scene with Frank Martin. Uh, I, I, I asked him, um, you know, how do you prepare for someone? How do you counteract someone who can throw – a hundred punches around for all 12 rounds. Um, and he basically said, you just got to prepare for 12 rounds. Right. And I, you know, I, I believe Frank Martin believes he can beat Zepeda. I, I, Frank Martin has good reason to believe that he's an excellent fighter. And I'm again, I'm not saying Zepeda is going to run through this division and beat everyone. I'm saying he's a problem for anyone. Um, and how, do, you know, what I took from that is this guy is going to be an issue. You're going to have to be on point. You're going to have to be insanely prepared. You're going to have to, uh, you know, be 100% tip top of your game, 100% in shape to be able to compete with what Zepeda does. Zepeda is tall for the division. He's long for the division. He throws 120 punches around, 100 punches around, southpaw, 1,500 punches in a fight, record-setting numbers. Um. He's long. He gets in your chest. You, you create space. He's right back on top of you, pounding away. You just can't shake him. The 135-pound division is loaded. They don't want to fight this guy, and I don't think they're going to. It's a high, high risk, low reward fight. There are bigger names. There are bigger monetary names, and there are easier fights than Zepeda. Um, if I'm going to run through a division, who do I think can beat Zepeda? Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis. That's it. There are other guys who might could beat him. Potentially, maybe Frank Martin, Devin Haney, Lomachenko. I don't know if those guys beat him. Uh, Isak Cruz. Keyshawn Davis. Uh, I got questions about Keyshawn Davis' power. If he can't keep him off, it's gonna he's gonna heck a ton of harm, right? He's gonna do what the heck. You guys, Tech Tanahara was on the come up. He was a guy highly touted. He had a contract to fight Ryan Garcia. That Ryan Garcia ducked twice. He was offered a fight with Haney, which he, he didn't want because he wanted to pursue the Garcia fight. He thought it was more money. Garcia ends up not signing that contract. He fights a pedic and, and gets dominated. Tech Tanahara was that dude, highly touted guy. World Championship before he ran into Cepeda. And now he has to rebuild. He's doing a pretty good job of rebuilding. Um, I, I think what we have, he's just so much to deal with. It's just so much to deal with. You, you have to be able to keep him off of you. I don't know if Lomachenko has the size or, he, or the strength. He's got the footwork and the mobility, but I, I, again, he's so long and he's so tall. He's just going to be on you. If Loma can't knock him out, 
And this guy has shown a real good chin. He's got world-class wins, like I said, over Tana and he's got one over Jojo Diaz. He's going to overwhelm you. He's, he's going to be difficult to win rounds against because he just is so active and so busy. Um, Haney, same thing. Can Haney, does Haney have the power to keep him up? I don't know. You know, I, I think Tank Davis... Um, it, it's one shot with Tank. You know, Tank's got cheat codes in his hand, so I, I think Zepeda is going to walk into something. He does get hit a lot. You don't want to get hit with stuff against Tank Davis, so that's why I would pick Tank. Um, Shakur Stevens is such a master in there. I, I'm, you know, I, I'd pick Shakur just because he's so highly skilled in there. I think he figures it out, but that is going to be hell on earth for Shakur Stevenson, right? Um, like that is just hell on earth. Like I, I, I look at Zepeda and I think this is like Brandon Figueroa. You know, this is a tough fight for anyone. I'm not saying he's unbeatable. I'm saying he's an incredibly tough out for anyone. Um, you, you go through the lightweight division, and yes, it's a loaded division. It is absolutely loaded. But Zepeda is up there with anyone. Cambosis. You know, the um, guys like that, he beats, you know, um, Michelle Rivera, Giovanni Cabrera. I'm just running through some of these names. Kids Galahad, he already beat Jojo Diaz. He beats those. The, the old, you know, let's just run through the names here. Shakur Stevenson, Tank Davis, one and two. It's going to be tough. Devin Haney, we talked about. Can Haney, does Haney have the power to keep him off of him? Same thing with Lomachenko. Frank Martin, I, I think, beats Haney and Lomachenko, too. And I, I would really like to see that Frank Martin fight. Um, we got Ryan Garcia when he's going up, and then we have Zepeda. And, and then we have Isak Cruz after that, and that's kind of your top ten. It's tough to keep him off of him, right? Like Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tank Davis, they're special in what they do. You know, They're very different, but they're both very special in what they do. After that, I don't see these guys beating Zepeda. Not that they can't, but Zepeda's just going to... And, and even for Javante and Shakur, who I think could beat them, it is going to be hell on earth when they're in the ring with them. It's going to be a war. You know, you're going to have to figure out a way to keep this guy off you. The fight I would like to see is Frank Martin. I'd like to see Keyshawn Davis, right? I think those are great fights. Um, I, I think stylistically, they're a lot of fun. I, I like to see... does. Frank Martin and Keyshawn Davis. I think Frank Martin, who has some pop, you know, um, you know, he has enough pop. I'm not saying Frank Martin's a big hitter. Uh, Frank Martin carries some pop in his hands. Is he willing to stand in more at times with Zepeda and try to slow Zepeda down that way? You know, you go back, and I know Frank Martin, you guys think, is a boxer. He's got stoppage wins over Dano uh, and, and Jackson Moran is two of his best wins. Uh, before he got to Rivera, right? Those are probably his two best wins before he got to Rivera, which is clearly his best win. He stopped those two guys. So he, he can punch. He's not feather-fisted. Um, would he be willing to stand in and try to trade? I, I don't. I want to know more about uh, Keyshawn's power, right? Right now, if they were to fight next, I'm taking Cepeda to beat Keyshawn. Uh, this Frank Martin thing is 50-50, and I, I pick him to beat Haney and Loma right now. Um Again, you're not going to run from this guy for 12 rounds. You're not going to slick, you know, just slick and style on him with this lone exception of maybe Shakur. Um, but the rest of these guys, it's not Shakur and, and Tank can stop him. But the rest of this, I mean, he's going to be an issue, guys. He's going to be around. I think he's going to have a career and a run where he gets a lot of wins and, and loses some fights you thought he might win, right? He's flawed. He's not perfect. He's really skilled on the inside and he's relentless. He, he's got enough power in his hands, right? And he just does not stop. He's like a gnat that just does not get off of you. And you're going to have to figure out a way to get him off of you. And the only guys I think they can do that is, of course, Stevenson with his skill and Tank Davis will get him off with his power. That's how I see it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. To keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors.
Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is now May 1st, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.